Hey, what's going on, everybody? All right, this uh, <clears throat> upcoming video is uh, me swapping out, finally getting around and swapping out my Gamma Mac. I don't know if you saw my one video, um, KP68 up on the roofing antennas. She had my Gamma Mac uh, set up. And it was just to get me on the air, just get it going, and wasn't too fussy about it. Like I said, I already shot the videos, and I've, I, re I know I repeat myself a lot. <laughs> I'm in that case, but I gotta say, that's not case. I like to repeat ourselves over and over again. So, yeah, one thing. Sorry about the wind. When I'm up on the roof on that segment there, I didn't realize the uh, the wind was so strong in the microphone. I hope it's not too annoying, but uh, it is what it is. So, all right. You can get to see my uh, hillbilly engineering up here. Yeah! So, yeah, come along uh, on a ride with me, and we're going to see how this journey goes. The good and the bad and the ugly. So, all right, let me stop this here. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Enjoy. Hey guys, KP68 back again one more time. This is like the third time I tried to do this video. Um, I keep calling my M, my Mako M105C and Mako M103. I just proof watched by tape and I'm like, my God, that was my problem. Wait, listen, it's me slapping myself in the face. <laughs> All right, so here we go. As you, well, I don't know if you saw my other videos, KP68 up on the roof, something like that, the antennas. Um, I'm cur currently running just the uh, Gamma Max system. All right, and that was just to get it up in the air, get me on air, and uh, tide me over until I can switch over to my, the, you know, something better. So, uh, time has come, and switching over to a hairpin balance system. All right, so this is just a mock-up, I thought, you know what, before I get up on the roof, tear everything apart, let's do an experiment here. I'm going to just test, just tune in just the driven element here on the ground. Just toss it together. So what I did was, I just pounded this uh, pipe into the ground with a hammer. Got my maul, mauled that sucker into the ground. This boom is from my Mako M103C I still have hanging around, which I'm going to give to my buddy. But, uh... Anyhow, just a, just up for the mock-up. So something I'm not always to. And uh, like I said, this is just for experimenting. Just fired it on here. I just hose clamped these, my strap uh, from from the Ballon. By the way, this is an Array Solutions uh, Ballon 716 and uh, DIN connector adapter, so I can hook my uh, antenna analyzer in here. But uh, there it is. There's a hairpin there. Of course, it's a split element system. One side is being fed by the center conductor of the coaxial cable, the unbalanced coax cable. The other side just connected to the braid, nothing more than a dipole. All right. So I thought, let's just see, uh, get this tuned in on, like, say, channel 28, and I'm going to see how much it changes when I get it up on here and put it on the boom with all the other elements up there. It'll be a fun little experiment. Okay. So what I did was, this is a new piece. I bought a new centerpiece. Rather than uh, take the element off my M105C, bring it down, split that element, and then go from there, I ordered a uh, just a new center section so I can get everything all ready and then go then go up there and swap it out. Because if I were brought down, cut it in half, uh, you know, cut it, and then this will not work out, then I'll be hosed for a while until I can get a new piece in. So. Uh, new center section, This, these tips here, it's in three pieces. You got your end piece, center piece, and then your other end piece. All right. So that's what I did. So for ease. All right, so from here, this end piece, that distance there, make sure they're exactly the same. There, out to there. And I made hash marks starting about, I don't know, this, this, end piece slides all the way into there, but I made one inch hash marks all across the uh, uh, outer piece. So I'd slide this in one inch, go over there, slide that in one inch. I kept doing that until I got tuned in. So, anyhow, here I'll show you what I got here. I'm going to the uh, antenna analyzer, or the, the analyzer. Alright, bop -de beep -de beep -de beep -de beep -de doop Alright. That's not glaring on there. Close enough for rock and roll. Got a little bit of reactance in there, not too shabby. I don't know if you can see that. 50. Good enough for me. A whole heck of a lot better than what's up there now with that uh, gamma match. I mean, I'm not uh, 
We're on a commercial AM radio station here. This is uh, CB Radio, the chicken band here, and uh, good enough. Good enough for rock and roll. So it's going to be interesting to see how this changes. I won't touch a thing. I'm just going to swap that all out. I'm going to leave this all one piece. I'm just going to leave that. I have to, to be a pain in the butt with that bow attached. But I'm just going to swap that all out with what's up there now. I still got to put the uh, DIN connector on the coax because right now the gamma matches direct feed. So I'll do that. Leave it exactly the way it is. Swap that out with the uh, driven element that's there now and then see what happens. It'll be interesting to see. So there we go. The little, the little ground mock up here is just the hairpin driven element. By the way, that tree's gone. Remember that tree last time? Got them taken on. Shed's still gonna be taken out. <laughs> All right, hopefully it won't rain. And then I can get up here and do this today. Just, uh, anyhow, all right. Hopefully I'll be back today. If not, uh, take a pause here and I'll be back tomorrow. But okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention one thing uh, before I get this up on the roof. Uh, the main radiating, radiating, radiating element from the factory, Mako, with a solid piece with a gamma. All right, for the five element beam, you know, 20 uh, match in it. I wrote it down here. Should be overall length of 209 inches. All right, that's with a gamma match, solid piece going across. Now with a hairpin, after I matched it in, down here on the ground, tip to tip overall length was 203.5 inches. So it's a little bit shorter. But that's where it uh, tunes in to where I want it. Forgot to mention that. All right, for real this, this time, I'll be back. <laughs> Hopefully it won't rain. Check it out. All right guys, I'm back up on the roof. It seems like it's going to be a nice day. This is a different day. I think the last video I did was Saturday. And it is now Wednesday morning. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. Get the flag is going. But, uh, okay, here we go. Um, what you saw on the ground is exactly what's here right now. Uh, I just slapped this up here. I'm going to try not to forget anything here. Um, all right, let's go with this. Now that balance, I think I'm going to leave that suspended on the bottom. Uh, of course, I replaced that <laughs> yeah, just speaker wire there, so I'll get a better strap for that. But uh, yeah, instead of getting an extra mounting plate, extra hardware, plus that uh, support boom support wires in the way, I'm going to leave that uh, balance suspended on the bottom and let like gravity do the self-centering on it. And plus, anyhow, I like to have the um, like coax uh, going on the bottom of the boom. Anyhow, so that's going to work out. Uh, yeah, less hardware. And right there, as you can see, I got the... Uh, we're going to see how this works out. I got the... Of course, it's copper strap. And that's going uh, against the aluminum driven element. So they're two dissimilar metals. So I expect to see some kind of galvanic action. So you got the copper against aluminum. Of course, the water is going to act like an electrolyte. So we'll see how it goes. Um, rather than getting goop and you know putting a uh, like a flex seal or liquid tape on there if something happens and i want to swap that out well now i got to uh scrape all the goop off it's gonna be a mess and uh now the hose clamps on there <clears throat> some people take uh their solid strap drill extra holes in the element with extra bolts um so i rather just use the hose clamp and see how that goes um easy easy uh maintenance to get that off of there uh or like i said no goop and just takes one one uh screwdriver to get the hose clamp off ease of maintenance so we'll see how that goes and now the driven elements i did have to pull them out a little bit more than they were on the ground to bring that match down so still it, i didn't get a overall measurement when i was up here but it's almost about where it, you know the factory 209 almost it's a maybe a hair shorter so yeah we'll see how this goes and of course it's a little bit sloppy there i won't get too close to the edge here Ooh, i don't want to fall off the roof kp falls off the roof <laughs> all right so yeah i'm gonna leave it exactly like that we'll see what happens and you guys can come along on the ride with me i don't know will there be a lot of corrosion don't know and yeah we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna go down into the shack we're gonna fire this up and see the see the results on the LP 100 a so there it is so far so good I did test it out and it's uh, a lot better than the gamma match I mean 
above way way beyond uh, with the gamma match uh, ease of tuning it and stability so all right yeah beautiful day out here all right we're gonna get we're gonna get on down off the roof that is <laughs> all right see you down in the shop all right guys <clears throat> back down in the shop here and we got here's start with the lp 100 a now remember um my, my old setup was uh, with the gamma match it was just to get me on air at the time i didn't have uh the time or the money to be fussing with uh you know the, the hairpin and bowing and all that i just wanted to get on the air with it so i wasn't too fussy about the swr or anything like that so with that said now when i key up here this was this went up to a 1.6 on channel 28 now when i kicked the uh last stage on uh, we dropped down a little bit to maybe like a 1.55, so I wasn't too worried about it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it worked. It, it was what it is, or, you know, I'm trying to say. But it worked. Got me on air. And, uh, so, all right, let's try this out here. And uh, where's my key here? I'm going to go ahead and key up. This is the new hairpin I'm bowing. <laughs> 1.05. It was on channel 28. All right, let me switch hands here. Oh man, man, I'm shaking. My made my coffee a little bit too uh, too strong. <laughs> All right, right there, I put a five watt slug in uh, reverse, and that is a 100 watt. All right, and what we were keying, we were keying like 50 around there. Okay, about 50 watts. So here we go. That's a 100 watt slug. Hope you can see that. There you go, 5 watt, 100 watt. So, heck, that is one hell of an improvement. And like I said up on the roof, I'm going to let everything go exactly the way it is. I'm going to replace that, of course, replace that <laughs> speaker wire with a better strap. But other than that, I'm going to leave it uh, go like that up there. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. You guys can come along with the ride for me and... Uh, see what happens. So there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna get on out of here. A little bit of skip is rolling. So all right, guys. Uh, what time is it? Around like 11:30 or so. But uh, all right, I'll catch y'all later. KP68. Back out. Quick, click. click.